Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your love reading for mid-March right through to mid-April 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'll be doing a competition this month for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I'll let you know all the details of how to enter right at the end. As some people are here only for the messages and not the personal reading competition, so I don't like to waste anyone's time. Uh, I will be announcing that winner on the 12th of April. That is when the new moon is in Aries. A uh, very critical time of the year because it is a time to cultivate your vision. Um, let's get straight to your reading, my beautiful Virgo. Just to let you know, this is a singles reading. If anything from the past comes up, it's for a reason. I uh, do not control the cards. The cards pop out as and when spirit decides. Uh, but this is a singles reading. So let's see what's coming towards you. Thank you so much, spirit guys. Ooh, straight away, we have short term. We got karma. We also have wallflower and we have ice queen. Oh, they've asked me to go again. That is really unusual. Normally, um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Normally, that's quite enough to discuss, but they want to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... Uh, sorry, just as uh, I was saying beautiful, but they gave me a, a word, uh, which kind of caught me off. Do you want that one as well? Track, yeah. Uh, which was Petunia. Petunia. So either that is, uh, Petunia is a flower, I think. Uh, so either uh, that is your favorite flower or Petunia could be your name. It's a very precise name. It's very beautiful, very unique. Uh, but Petunia, I, I feel like it's a flower though. So either that means something is relevant to your situation. It doesn't mean anything to me and I can't tell you what it means, but I will look it up. Perhaps uh, some flowers, you know, they have a specific meaning. So I'll look it up, Petunia. Okay, so we have past life. Okay, we also have Union. Spirit wants to talk about Union here. Um, we also have Ice Queen. So either there's someone you've frozen out, you're not talking to, or uh, you know someone has frozen you out and you're feeling a little bit left out in the cold with something. Now this doesn't have to be an ex-lover. It can be with a friend or something. They, sometimes the energy is just picked up, but we will clarify this energy a little bit further. Um, there's something that's gone cold here though, something that's uh, just gone off the boil, I guess, uh, whatever reason that is, we'll have a look. Um, we do have wallflower. So when I get this card, this is normally an indication that you're feeling pretty fed up with uh, love when it comes to the universe. It's almost like you feel like you've been left out here um, and you feel like everybody else is sort of getting into unions or relationships where uh, they're having a good time or they've been picked. And it's almost like you feel like you've been left out. So either there is some sort of situation, I will clarify this energy, um, because they're really highlighting, obviously, two people here. So perhaps you feel like you've come in between two people or there's a person that you were interested in in the past. They always put you in a triangle or something like that um, in, into a, a third party situation kind of um, event. I, I will clarify this energy, but Wallflower, for me, it just indicates that you're feeling a little bit invisible when it comes to... Uh, love you feel like you're sitting on the edges waiting to be picked now Virgo you got such a beautiful heart I don't feel like you're waiting to be picked either at all but you may feel like you've just been kind of like there's been no love activity so you're feeling like well what the hell's wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you at all uh, we often are here to learn lessons okay uh, before the divine timing kicks in and we meet the person who's meant for us now we have karma so the doors are actually opening here for some sort of ascension when we have karma there is a rebalancing fate will be intervening in order to open up the door now you may have been doing a lot of spiritual work here as well Virgo but I feel like someone that you were dealing with this person that you've been either cold towards or they've been cold to you Male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. Um, they're just giving me that this person is receiving some sort of karma. So um, I will clarify again this energy and we have short term. So there could be someone coming on in for the short term or this was for the short term. And it's almost like, well, they're, they're really highlighting the broken heart here for me. So perhaps this was something that was really sort of in and out short term that you were dealing with in the past. For some reason it's popping up here. 
Now, whether that means it's getting in the way of union or you're receiving karma because of this situation, and I mean good karma, um, Hmm. It's interesting. They're giving me that 2.30 is a very important time for you. 2.30. They're asking me to look at the clock. And uh, so that would be about half two, right? 2.30. So either 2.30 is important to you in some way, or perhaps you're going to look at the clock right now and go, damn, it's 2.30. Please take it as it resonates. I will be clarifying this energy to see what's coming through. This is a singles reading. Um, so either there's something short term coming on in for you in the meantime, but there's definitely union. We have the union card show up. Whoa, <laughs> that was quite something. We have pay attention to the red flags, past life relationships. The second time we got that, we got free yourself. It is safe for you to love. Keep an open mind and we have worth waiting for. So there's definitely union coming on in here, but maybe there was something that's in the past that was short term. It maybe damaged you in some way, my beautiful Virgo. Um, we got pay attention to the red flags. Now, when we get this card, there's an energy here that this person's like in a beekeeper suit. So yes, it's wonderful to keep your, your gorgeous heart protected, but are you keeping love out? They're indicating um, that there is a ghost of the past coming on in here with some sort of offering. Now, this could be that someone from your past is going to come on in. We will clarify this energy. Um, and you're being guarded against this person. Uh, pay attention to the red flags. This person may show up all the time promising you the world and delivering nothing okay um ooh, we just got a little little horn outside with the um the car there i mean that was perfectly placed uh for uh, recognition oh they're showing me a sword right now now there's no swords in this um this picture but they're showing me a sword whenever i see a sword that means this person's coming to communicate there's going to be a conversation with someone that you've been protecting yourself against someone that you feel got really deep within your heart may have broken your heart or you're mistrustful of this person for some reason i just feel like you're keeping them at a distance uh they're coming in to talk now we got past pa past life relationship since we started off with past life it's also shown up again i mean in two different decks that's a message right there virgo so i feel very much like Oh, okay. They're indicating here that the new person, the new person, you have a soul contract with a new person who's coming on in here. And as soon as you meet this person, you're going to know. You're just going to, there's going to be like an off the charts kind of energy of you just know this person. I will clarify this energy um, as we go forward. Uh, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and it is safe for you to love. Okay. Open your heart. Spirit's indicating it's time to move on from a situation. Um, because the person who is either in and out of your life, they're very guarded, okay? And I feel like they're still in a guarded energy, but we will clarify. Uh, we got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectation. There's something here in this card about friends having someone they think would get on well with you, that would be a perfect match for you. I feel like you're willing to entertain it, but I'm not sure if you're wanting this person, okay? Uh, so I feel like that's on the side. It's almost like they're like, oh yeah, this person would be perfect. They, there's a meeting of minds there with this person in Virgo. I think they'd be perfect together. And you're like, yeah, I'd be willing to sort of check this person out, talk to them, but I feel like you're kind of like, mm, you're on, you're, the jury's out. It's, it, I feel like you're kind of like meh. Okay, um, we got worth waiting for. Divine timing is in order in your love life. Okay, so I'm just going to clarify some of this energy before I go to the overall energy for uh, mid-March. Can you please clarify this short term for me? Whoa. Can you please clarify short term? Can you please clarify short term? Thank you so much. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Okay, someone ran away from this connection. Emotionally checked out. Okay, Seven of Swords is a self-sabotage kind of uh, mode that this person was in. I feel like this person, they were either dishonest, I feel like they were definitely withholding information. They didn't really talk very much about what was going on with them. Uh, Seven of Swords is an indication of um, 
they were very different. How can I put that? They were very uh, unique. You'd never met someone like this before. They're not a people pleaser, this person. This is from the per person in the past. Now, I don't really want to talk about this person much, but I wanted to clarify, is this a short-term relationship coming in for you? Or is this a short-term short relationship that you were in in the past that was kind of like in and out kind of energy? It's like someone always called half time on it and it broke your heart because I feel like you really wanted to invest in this connection. It's someone that you've either frozen out or you feel has frozen you out and there's no, there's little conversation with you, this person, if any at all, okay? But the Seven of Swords indicates either this person was dishonest, betrayed you in some way, or ran away from the connection. I feel like they actually withdrew from the connection um, and it made you, you oof, yeah, very selfish person. We have the Emperor in the upright. Um, now, it's interesting because they may have uh, had plans for the future with you and this person. They may have like uh, seemed like the perfect person to build a relationship with. Um, but this person, a lot of secrets. It's almost like uh, by meeting you, triggered a lot of things from a Pandora's box. Now, this could be someone that was that you may consider you may have considered a trim a twin flame connection uh but we got a six of pentacles with this this person was quite selfish what it was one-sided you may have felt like you did a lot of uh, the legwork in this relationship okay now this could be virgo i don't see this is going to be not for everybody i don't really see you normally um how can i put this this could have been a relationship with a boss or someone at work who was in a managerial position okay this is not going to be for everybody um, but I feel like this is somehow connected to an industry that you worked in and I feel like uh, they were very selfish they were actually very driven with their work very cold when it came to emotion I feel like this person was very ambitious uh, power hungry structure D uh, they wanted to dominate the area that they worked in definitely the traits of a leader but not a leader who has the heart of the people. Someone who is, um, can be quite ruthless sometimes, okay? I feel like this person withdrew love from you because they were very ambitious, and I feel like it was all about them and their career or them and their stuff and not you. Um, and I feel like this person, uh, we're just gonna leave that person there now, okay? So I'm just gonna clarify any further. Can you please clarify union for my beautiful Virgo? What's coming on in there for Virgo in terms of new love, union? We've got union on the board here. Could you please clarify? I mean, look at that. I'm loving that. We have the Knight of Coins and we have the King of Swords. Interesting. So what they are clarifying here, Virgo, is what I said earlier. The person who did not invest in your connection earlier, um, the person who, um, you know, it wasn't working with, they're coming to talk. Okay, now this person may have a, another Earth placement. They may be a, another Virgo or they could have Taurus or Capricorn in their placement. They could also be a Gemini. OK, um, this person is really thinking about coming to talk to you. Uh, so you will hear from a person in the past. I don't really want to talk about it. OK, some people may want to talk about it, but um, this is a singles reading. But I have to let you know what comes up. So they are indicating with this energy that I'm feeling this person who did not invest in your connection is coming towards you to talk. Also, I'm getting another energy, which is there is a new person you're coming into being with uh, someone who may be from a different country than you. Um, Someone who is um, a bit of a thinker, okay? Uh, someone who is uh, intellectually passionate, uh, who is very uses reason over intellect. Uh, the truth is everything to them. I feel like you're coming into being with someone like that. You're calling in a soulmate. We have a new. Uh, we have the full card, new start. Okay, so there's a leap of faith required, which indicates there's a conversation with someone in the past, and then I think you're. I just get this feeling that you're shutting it down. Okay, because this person really hurt you, Virgo. Uh, what I feel like is you're making a leap towards a new start. When you get a full card, it's almost like a clean slate. There's a lot of potential here for you to meet somebody new. But I just need to give you a little something before we can get into the Celtic Cross. Because they're giving me the Queen of Wands and it's in the reverse. Now, there's a couple of energies that's coming with this. One is lack of confidence in your beautiful self, Virgo. Uh, but it only comes like... If I asked you about your career, you'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm rising up. I got my, my sights high on a certain goal. I'm good at what I do, you know. Um, but when it comes to love, it's almost like your beautiful heart is, your confidence has been knocked in some way, okay? And I feel very much like it may have come from this 
situation. There may have been a bit of anger here uh, in the past and it may have um, knocked your confidence or made you feel like you were not enough in some way, Virgo. That is not the case, okay? Spirit is indicating uh, this was a lesson that you were meant to learn in this situation. Now, we do have the moon card, and instinctively I'm getting this uh, energy that either a friend, well, I feel it's a friend or a work colleague, is actually going to tell you about someone who has feelings for you and thinks that you are a perfect meeting of minds, okay? So I feel like there's going to be a reveal here. If it's not someone within your friendship circle or work circle, itself. I feel like there's something about your friends or somebody trying to set you up with somebody um, because they feel, I mean, like I'm feeling, you know, you've got a lot to give. You've got a lot to offer here. You've got a wonderful heart. You're very nurturing, caring, but sometimes uh, you give so much of yourself or go that you forget about yourself. Okay. So just be mindful of that. Um, but they're indicating here, it's been a bit of a tumultuous time for you and there are calmer waters ahead, um, but there's going to be some sort of reveal. Something comes to the surface. Some sort of truth comes out. Um, they're just asking me to go again on this. Thank you so much. Okay. So I just want to let them fall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just wanted to gather that, that energy before we go into the cultic cross. How would you like to receive? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is uh, an interesting energy because I've got two energies coming from it. Uh, Pisces energy, I feel like someone who was a little bit immature towards you, Virgo, is coming towards you with an apology. Um, when you get a Page of Cups, it's often a surprise. This person feels like a child next to you, so... Uh, I don't feel like it's a child. I feel like it's someone who is immature and recognizes that they, were, they did not act in their highest vibration when they were with you but I also feel like there's new love coming on in for you okay um I feel like you're calling it in you're manifesting it um and I feel like you're saying no to the person in the past that's the energy that I'm getting especially since um, I feel like there's a return energy with this card the page of cups often comes with someone coming in to after how can I put that? Uh, someone from the past kind of like having a lot of introspection, realizing that they did you wrong in some way or that they did not act in their highest vibration within a relationship. I feel like this person is coming on in after a time of introspection in order to um, offer you something new. It's almost like they want to open the box and tell you what's what. I feel like they're going to talk. Okay, now we've got the Ten of Wands here. It's in the reverse. So I feel like you're kind of taking, either taking a break from that person or you're letting this person go. I, I feel like you're finally saying no to this person because I feel like they're in and out of your relationship. Even if you look up the meanings of the words, the Ten of Wands in the reverse is, you know, kind of saying no. I'm just, no, no, no. I'm cutting that off. It's too stressful. It's too much like hard work. And I feel like you're waiting for the big one. We got a King of Pentacles here, King uh, king of Coins, okay? So again, as I said, I feel like this person's an earth element. Uh, someone who's very stable, grounded, reliable. Uh, someone who's loyal. Someone who may have their own business or is in a position of power. Someone who has a lot of responsibility in their work. I feel like they're going to offer you a solid uh, investment when it comes to love. And I don't mean... It, you know, investment sounds like, uh, you know, something financial. Maybe they work in the financial industry and that's why they're giving me uh, that kind of lingo, as it were. But I feel very much like this person is going to go the whole hog with you. Uh, I feel like this person's doing well in their life, Virgo. Um, and I feel like this person's got their own home. They've got their own stuff together. They're asking me to have a look here. Okay, there is something about this person, Virgo. Um, the new person, I've got to say it as I'm give, being given it, um, they're very set in their ways and they're a little bit stubborn, okay? Now, the last thing you want is someone who's stubborn, Virgo, I know that, but they're indicating this person almost like melts when they're with you, okay? So something about you, um, I don't believe as humans that we should ever tame another person or that we should change them. We should accept people as they are and people actually change themselves in order to be a better person. I feel that's the energy that I'm getting here. This person um, is changed for the better by meeting you. Okay, this is the new person. So it's definitely new love coming on in here, a new start. Be mindful that there is someone from the past coming on in to talk. Um, now let's see what the overall energy is before I go to the um, 
Celtic cross using the Psychic Tarot. Uh, for now, I'm using the White Witch Tarot. I lost touch with these cards for a couple of months there, um, and they've been calling to me from the sidelines. So I'm back in touch with these cards now. I love them so much. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful... We have the Devil card, okay? So this is the protagonist energy. Releasing someone from the past who is holding you back. An obsessive energy. I feel like this person from the past... You and this person either were obsessed with each other or there was an obsession here. Some sort of toxic um, situation. I feel like you and this person may have met each other. This is the person from the past, okay? I feel like you and this person from the past may have met each other um, when you're either in a period of drinking or at a low period in your lives. And there was a mad passion there. It was you and this person were completely besotted with each other. But I feel like some sort of toxic behavior got in the way here. And I feel like... Um, they're indicating that this person's coming to talk, okay? Because we have a justice card here, two swords. When you get two swords, there's two people having a conversation. It's painful, okay? As you can see, uh, there's some tears there, but I feel like the truth is being revealed. So it's almost like you and this person, Virgo, in the past, maybe right person, wrong timing. So can you heal this? Of course you can. The, the justice card indicates there can be a solution if you want it to be. Okay, so, um, you know, some people don't want to reconnect with someone in the past. Some people do. I feel very much like um, for those that do want to connect, there can be um, a balancing between you both. I feel like you both need to tell the truth, though, and not, it's, it's almost like you and this person, you may not have done it intentionally, but if they hurt you, you hurt them back. And if they hurt you more, you hurt them doubly so. I feel like there was this tit for tat, and it was not intentional. But I feel like the boundaries went up and that it, it just, it, it became a bit of a stalemate and I feel like it got frozen out, okay, over time. This person really hurt you badly. So they're in indicating if you want this person, oh sorry, they're just indicating this arm here. Um, what they're indicating is someone has a rash that has come on their arm, okay. Um, little dots, they look like little pinprick dots, uh, little red ones. Um, over here. Now this could be an allergic reaction, but if you're feeling unwell, obviously I'm not medically trained, uh, but I would definitely seek somebody about that, um, some sort of help about that, but they're just showing me a rash. I feel like maybe it's um, an allergic reaction. It's on the right arm. I'm feeling it's at the forearm here. Um, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to connect to everybody. If it does not mean anything to you, does not mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention. I mean, it could even be some sort of birthmark, but to me it looks like a rash. Okay, um, this may be you or your person. Um, please take it as it resonates. Uh, but anyway, so aside from that, aside from that, if you do not want to connect with the person in the past, there is an opportunity for new because we have the full card here. Okay, so you may be closing down the person from the past and sort of getting some sort of final closure or um, truth of a situation. Maybe even just an apology is enough because this person, they, they never really took responsibility. That's, I feel like there's a lack of accountability with the person from the past. But there's definitely union here, Virgo. And I feel like there's a new start, okay? It starts with a conversation for sure. And we'll see where that's coming from. But I feel like you're, you're in a really good position right now to be your beautiful self. They're indicating the energy of peacocking, showing yourself off. Um, you're not really kind of like that. You, I don't feel like you've got the ego to be peacocking but you know when you you know when you look good right and I feel like you're in, you're stepping into that energy that you're looking the you're your best self right now that's what I a lot of people are you know the cool kids are calling it a glow up okay um I'm not really cool but uh you get my drift but the full card indicates um there was either some sort of dishonesty or unkindness in the past something you feel like may have given you trust issues or damage your confidence. I feel like you're trying to shed that now. You're trying to let go of that. And where it may have made you feel a little bit cynical in love and that you'd lost hope, there's definitely an energy here of opening yourself up to the world again, looking for love, okay? I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're having faith that anything is possible and it, it requires you coming out of your comfort zone though. So let's see where you're gonna meet this person or if they can give us anything more than that. I'm just gonna pop these away for now. Um, let's go to the Celtic cross and see what's going on there. Definitely some union coming on in for you. Uh, worth waiting for. They're highlighting worth waiting for, for me. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Um, so they're giving me the name Miriam, 
Miriam. Um, so either your name is Miriam or the person you are hoping to meet is a feminine energy and it, her name is Min Miriam. Please take it as it resonates. I mean, it could be a surname. It could be the name of the person who is introducing you to somebody. Because I feel like your friends are going to try and introduce you to somebody if they haven't already. Okay. Uh, I will clarify that energy a little bit uh, in a moment. Thank you. The heart of the matter. What's the present moment? The universe. This is your present moment, Virgo. You're closing something down. You're moving forward. You've learned a lot of lessons in the past. The universe is a major arcana. It's the world card, okay? Number 21. This is you having a deeper understanding of your role in the world and how this past union that did not work out in your favor, <coughs> excuse me, um, you're recognizing what you were meant to learn in it. You've done as much as you can within the situation. You gave all of your love. You gave all of your kindness, your attention. You tried it all and it didn't work in your favor. Uh, I feel very much like you're satisfied that there's nothing else you can do. You may not be satisfied with the outcome, but you're recognizing it's time to move on. Okay. I feel like you're leaving this situation with your head held high. And I feel like perhaps you want closure before you can move forward. Um, you, I feel like you will be getting closure, verbal closure with this person uh, or an opportunity to heal it and take a leap of faith and start something new with this person uh, because they may want to be, I feel like this, I'll, I'll, I'll clarify their intentions, okay? But I feel like this person from the past, I feel like they really want to start something new with you, okay? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, but I feel like you're calling in new. I think you're looking to the future. What is the challenge for my beautiful Virgo? What is the challenge? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What is the challenge? We've got the Empress. Okay. Interesting. Because it's fertility. Uh, so you may feel like time is running out, Virgo. Whether you're male or female, you may feel like time is keeping you suspended. And perhaps you want to settle down, have a family. Um, so you may feel like the clock is ticking if you're a feminine energy. Um, but I feel very much like it's about confidence. Okay. There's a lot of confidence issues here. Someone has knocked your beautiful mojo in the past. And I feel like it's made you sometimes feel indecisive in love. And by that, I mean, you may look at yourself in the mirror and go, you know what? I look awesome. I'm awesome inside and out. I've got a beautiful soul. I'm really good with people. I love people. I'm nurturing. I'm caring. I'm supportive. What's wrong with me? Why is love never coming towards me? But then all of a sudden there is a resistance and indecisiveness about whether you want love or not because love hurt you in the past. So maybe you feel like it will do the same. So I feel very much like there's a bit of an inner battle with you. You may want love, but then all of a sudden either doubts from the past creep in or the person from the past actually messages you and creeps in and is like, throws you into a disarray, okay? I feel like you may have pushed love away and disconnected from it because of what's happened in the past. You may have buried your head in finances or getting your work together, your ambition, uh, your drive, and sort of try and build a financial future rather than think about love. But there's moments there where you're like, I want to call in love. I want to, I want to be in love. But then it's this, as I said, inner battle, okay, about confidence. Um, also, the challenge here is limited resources they're giving me. There hasn't been much to choose from, Virgo. That's what they're giving me. I mean, you're picky, which is wonderful. You should absolutely stay in that energy. Um, don't let any, you know, any old body in there. Uh, but there's uh, an energy here that... It's been difficult to find someone um, new to love in general, but then slap on a, a pandemic on top, it's near impossible, okay? That's what the energy that I'm getting. But you'd be surprised, okay? There's been a lot of people who've met people um, by chance within this pandemic, and, uh, you know, they found love. So uh, never say never, okay? Never say never. Uh, but the challenge is remaining confident. And knowing that you're beautiful, there's something here, Virgo, that's about beauty. It's almost like sometimes you question what you look like. Low self-esteem. Okay, this is not going to be for everybody, but it, I'm just getting like a general, well, I'm getting a larger portion of energy that's suggesting that sometimes you doubt what you look like. Okay, don't. You're beautiful. You came, what we got on the outside, it, we came with a shell. Okay, 
I know it's such a cliche to say it's what's inside that counts, but when you meet someone for the first time, of course, aesthetically people judge, okay? Um, the right person is going to fall in love with you, no matter what you look like, okay? Uh, and I, I feel like you need to own your beauty because sometimes I feel like you're a very beautiful person um, or handsome person, male or female, this is not a gender specific reading, but I feel like sometimes we go, you can't see it. People can't see what others can see. And I feel like even all your friends are like, damn, Virgo, if you just saw what I can see, I mean, I don't even know why you're questioning it. So I feel very much like sometimes you question that, okay? Um, now, you may even keep that to yourself. You may not even tell anybody, but sometimes, I mean, we're all human. We all have doubts, you know? There's always days that we look in the mirror and go, oh my God, who beat me with the ugly stick during the night? I did not know that my face could look all shades of fluffy or puffy or whatever and then there's other days where you look in the mirror and go damn i'm looking fine today it's such a shame we're in lockdown nobody's getting a piece of this today i'm just gonna have to look at myself in the mirror as i do some work or something like that you know thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful virgo what is below them can you please guide them just to let you know i'm never just sitting there looking in the mirror <laughs> i got too much stuff to do thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide beautiful virgo what's below my beautiful Virgo. Whoa. Wow, that's very chaotic, whatever that was. Um, now, this is not going to be for everybody. Okay? Oh, I took my breath. Um, they're indicating someone got an electric shock. Okay? So if that was you that either just got an electric shock as you're listening to this reading, um, or a static shock or something, it was a very strong one, um, please take it as it resonates. Because that was something else it went right through my fingers uh so if that's you please put it in the comments box below i'm see sending you out a lot of love i hope you're okay um earth yourself put your feet on the ground okay what is below you shadow side the moon card okay i'm gonna clarify right now virgo because what is below you underlying feelings i feel like you know that the person um i feel like you know your friends are gonna try and set you up with someone as well okay i'm just going to clarify this energy uh but below you we got the moon card so the moon indicates um you know illusions fears of uh, stuff that happened perhaps in the past looking at that fear having your dark night of the soul i feel like the thing that's carrying you through is you've done a lot of soul work Virgo, while you've been single, you've done a lot of soul work and you've met yourself. No matter how dark it's been, you've met yourself in that darkness and in the light, okay? I feel like also, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know regarding their friends trying to set them up with someone else, uh, with a friend or a friend of a friend? There's some setting up here. Um, thank you so much. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons, okay? Uh, the moon card indicates you've made a lot of changes voluntary changes in order to be more spiritually close to your higher self and you're going to be rewarded for it okay so i feel the empress is in reverse okay it's interesting we've got the empress twice here um and you know getting both sides of it so this these your friends are coming from a, a good place but they they also realize there's limited resources for you to meet somebody so um we got some news coming on in eight of wands um it's going to be quite quick i feel it will be in the time period i've set um mid-march through to mid-april your friends are going to give you some sort of message from someone who is kind of taking a shine to you or they're trying to set you up with someone you're going to hear about this okay uh, when i was doing a pre-shuffle for you and a meditation i got the card of gossip okay so i feel like there's definitely some sort of energy while uh can you tell me about this person they're trying to set virgo up with high priestess uh in the reverse okay oh it's a secret <laughs> they're doing it behind your back um now i feel like you you you're not trusting this. I feel like you know. Okay, I feel like you know that they're they're doing this. And I feel like it's something that you're cringing about, Virgo. I don't know. I just don't I just feel like you like things to happen naturally and in divine order. You're kind of like mistrustful of anything that is set up. Okay? I feel like you're trying to push this away. But I feel like deep down you know that you know this is happening. You know that they're trying to set you up. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angels. You know, when I was just shuffling just now, I just saw the Emperor in reverse, okay? Um, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you are not having this. It feels like, um, it, it feels suffocating. You're like, I don't want this. 
I feel like you have no faith in it. Uh, I feel like you do not love this person. You don't have feelings for this person. But I want to tell you because they're they're highlighting it to me that they're coming towards you with this. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay. I feel like with the Nine of Wands in reverse, um, you're a little bit defensive towards this. But you're having faith that once isolation ends or lockdown ends or something, that there is going to be hope for you in terms of love. And I feel like definitely there is. A lot of you are going to be like, when is lockdown ending? Like ever. Uh, there is a shift. There is definitely a shift for the positive um, happening. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please, guide? They asked me for one more. Yeah. Just when you're least expecting it. There is someone new coming on in. Okay. We have a Four of Cups. Four of Cups indicates, um, you know, no matter what is offered to you, okay, even if your friends are like, what about this person? What about that person? No, this one. Perfect for Virgo. You're like, no, just no to stop, okay? And I feel like the universe, after tumultuous time, my beautiful Virgos, they're going to send you a surprise. So there's definitely um, a new start on the board with someone coming on in here for you. I feel like... Um, this is emotional uh, contentment. You're definitely going to meet someone um, that you will have union with. Uh, it's on your own terms. It's something that happens that's quite natural. I don't feel like it's forced in any way. But they just wanted me to clarify that energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide? What is that? They're showing me like a little square candy. They're giving me a really strange name. I don't know what this is. I'm just going to tell you the name. It's Froob. Froob? What is a froob? <laughs> is that a thing? Froob? I don't know what it is. But they're showing me, it's like a little candy. Is there candies called froobs? I'll have to look them up. I don't really like candy. Well, I, I do. I'm not, a, I'm not a complete heathen. I love candy. <laughs> but um, I don't really eat it often. And I certainly don't know what a froob is. So if you do, please let me know. Oh, okay. Please let me know in the comments box below. But I, I, I'm going to Look it up myself. I don't know what it is. Um, so if you're eating a, a fruit, or if that is the name of something, fruit, because they're actually showing me a little square candy that's kind of like golden and yellow. Um, please take it as it resonates. Now, what is behind you? Sacrifice. You've sacrificed a lot. This is in the past, Virgo. Always being of service to other people. And when you need something, there ain't nobody around. Okay? So I feel like you've invested a lot in connections. This is the hangman card. You've waited a long time for someone to either get their act together. And Virgo, I don't feel like you're sitting there by candlelight at midnight, darning your socks, waiting for this person to come in and message you. Absolutely not. You're getting on with your life. But deep down, I feel like there was someone you were holding a candle for for a while, and you've waited for them a long time, and you've sacrificed a lot. And because we have the fertility card there, male or female, again, not a gender-specific reading, there's just an energy of time going by and running out, you may feel like it's time to move on or manifest something new. Because during that downtime where there's been inaction, which is what the, the hangman is about, a time for inaction, there is wisdom, and there is a different perspective got. And I feel very much like you're having to let go and be willing to sacrifice something that maybe you've held on to for quite some time. But now's the time to let it go, you realize, in order to gain something new. Okay, now what is the potential? Power. This is a strength card. I don't know if you've noticed, my beautiful Virgo, this is a full deck. you got all major arcanas so far. This is a very faded reading. It's so unusual. I don't think I've ever had a full reading so far with just majors. Okay, this is power. But this is the strength card, number eight. Eight is the number of self, and it is about your self-confidence, okay? You're having the courage to uh, believe in love again. You're having the courage to um, sort of calm that, how can I put that? Calm those sort of inner battles um, and those insecurities and anything where you feel like... Um, you're self-sabotaging yourself by telling yourself you don't need love or... Because I feel like someone in the past has sabotaged a connection that you were in. I feel like you may have picked up some of that energy and from, from then on, you've been guarding yourself, protecting yourself. It's natural. Don't feel it's unnatural. It's, it's natural until such time as we heal completely, okay? I feel like you've done a lot of work. My gosh, you know, you're ready. The karma is apparent. You're getting good karma and the doors are opening here, okay? But it starts with self self-confidence and because this is the basically the lesson to have learned the goal I feel like um, 
you're stepping into your power and you're having the courage to love again thank you so much spirit guys going angels uh what is in the near future for my beautiful virgo what is in the near future okay we have hope we have 17 the star card okay that's interesting they want me to go again they just said one more so i will give it but as you can see the light in that light the power of manifestation is in your hands and you're calling in somebody new into your life okay this is hope this is renewal of faith this is you know you may have had some sort of test of faith and i feel very much like um you've been through despair you've been through uh, confusion there's no longer room for that anymore you're, you're headed towards the light this is aquarius energy and i feel like miracles are working behind the scenes to put you in the spotlight for love okay they've asked me to go one more so i will thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful virgo what do they need to know regarding the near future we've got hope we've got hope what's going on there can you please and wisdom oh oh my gosh another major arcana this is crazy this is one crazy ass read i'm so sorry oh i swear so i didn't mean to say you know didn't mean to swear anyway um we got wisdom this is the hierophant card okay another major arcana so this is the taurus energy we've got aquarius we've got leo libra taurus again um and we got some kent Syrian and some pisces um there's definitely wisdom you've learned a lot virgo but it's taught you what you do want and it's taught you what you don't want it may have been a tough lesson and a hard one um whoever you separated from they really taught you a really um tough lesson in love uh, but it's made you realize what it is that you want in the future okay as you can see this person's pointing their, their face is pointed towards the sun they want happiness which we all want okay but the idea of settling down and having a family or um a, a, a you know a partnership where you you live together and all of those things a higher level commitment is what they're facing they want they're trying to visualize it and we got the dog there for loyalty as well so there is a higher level commitment coming on in there for you virgo you have a choice so this is double clarification you got union coming in there's a choice because we've got the star card here as well there's a choice whether you want to heal the thing with the person in the past and find a, a solution that is absolutely an option because there's a conversation coming on in with someone from the past. Should you not wish to be with that person, you'll either ignore this person or clo get closure and move forward. Um, and there will be, you're still calling in a relationship, a high level commitment relationship. Okay. There's definitely union here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What are my beautiful Virgo telling themselves in this moment? The advice. We have solitude. We got another major arcana here. Fly me! I'm just I'm so shocked. Um, we have uh, the Hermit card. So you've been taking some time out, uh, maybe just focusing on work. You recognize that during this solitude, you've been building your own pillar, and you've been becoming a pillar of strength. Okay, it's almost like you've come as far as you can within your own story when it comes to love, and the page is blank, ready for to you to meet someone new in order to fill in the blanks. Right. So. There was during this time you found truth you found wisdom and there was uh introspection also enlightenment so it's almost like you're powering up it was a temporary um but necessary to your growth kind of um introspection and i feel very much like you're in that solitary energy right now you keep just connecting to your higher self maybe wishing upon a star as well we got the five of swords conflict and defeat you're feeling pretty like fed up with love it's not going to happen you've tried so many times with either a certain person or certain people and you keep going towards the light keep getting back on the horse hoping for the best but you keep coming back down those stairs going you know what maybe love's not for me it is for you virgo and you're going to find the right person who honors you in the same way that you honor them as you can see there's a little candle still burning a little bit of hope still there that you will find the love that you you desire okay but you may be telling yourself in this moment that I don't believe it until I see it I don't believe it but spirits indicating you must have faith because when you have faith that's when you change everything okay thank you so much spirit guys going angels what is the environment what are the external circumstances for my beautiful Virgo to meet somebody new can you please guide them what are the external circumstances they just keep showing me the words new beginnings new beginnings uh, and I know we got the full card there but uh, 
Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need? Whoa. Okay, I'm just going to go get those cards. One moment, please. One moment, please. That is a lot. Okay. Um, I'm doing the environment, right? Oh, no, they just want me to take it as it comes. Okay. I do apologize. I hurt my back a couple of days ago. I'm getting better, uh, but sometimes I'm a little bit stiff. Uh, so, the environment. Oh, my gosh. There's so much going on here. you got double fives. There's a lot of fives. That's triple five. Oh, my gosh. That's four fives you've got in your reading so far. Pay close attention to your synchronicities as well. Five, uh, four fives there. So, we have five of... Pentacles, material and financial changes. So the environment right now is that, you know, financially, it's a difficult time for a lot of people. Uh, we're all struggling with this pandemic, um, some of us more than others. Um, I feel like you're trying to hold on to what you've got and capitalize on it if you can. Um, I feel like you're um, really, it's not that you're worrying about financial loss, but I feel like you're trying to hold on to what you can because of the environment. Um, also, we have Ace of Cups, okay? The, the environment is perfect for you to meet new love. Ace of Cups bring new, okay? So there is some sort of love proposal here. Um, now, whether that's the person in the past, you haven't heard from them in a while, and they're coming on in to offer you love, uh, there is definitely union um, being offered here, and love begins, okay? This is divinely guided. The universe is bringing you on in a surprise, and it will lead to a higher level commitment and a proposal um, of some sort of uh, either traditional marriage, because we got the Hierophant there, but the, the circumstances in the time period I set are ripe for you to meet somebody new. Now, right now, they haven't given me where yet or how, but I feel... <laughs> they just said, let us take care of the how. Okay. Uh, whether that's so they're going to tell me in a moment, I'm not sure. Anyway, we have two of swords, mental conflict. There's going to be a choice here, Virgo. It's going to be between someone new and someone old. Okay. Um, I feel like you have to, you'll talk to the person from the past first before the new start happens. I just want to tell you that. Uh, but there's a, there's a choice to be made. Time to compromise. Okay. Um, now we have five of cups. You may feel felt abandoned within a situation or abandoned within love itself. There's a feeling of loss here, of grief. So um, I feel like you're really listening to your heart of days gone by where either you were abandoned or have to abandon a connection in order to move forward. But it indicates sacrifice is important. As you can see, we've got it's paired with heartache and loss. Someone really hurt you really badly, Virgo, really done a number on you. Or you're going to have to walk away from something and it is very painful. Um, they're indicating the, this is what you're sort of, this is what the vibrations and the frequencies are for you right now. And there's a lot going on. I'm not surprised because when it comes to Virgo, your brain goes like a mile a minute. You have about a million thoughts each second. And it's hard to keep up with the Virgo because they're always analyzing. So I feel like there's a lot going on here for you in the environment. And also we have the Six of Wands, which is victory and success. Now I feel like you're, you're spending a lot of time focusing on your work, your ambition. I feel like there's definitely some good news coming on in towards you regarding work. If you're looking for a job or a raise or promotion or some sort of recognition for what it is that you do, that you're passionate about, that you're trying to achieve. I mean, even if it's a hobby, you know, I feel like you're going to gain some sort of recognition for it. Okay. I feel like it was a lot of success, but I also feel like the circumstances are ripe for you to meet somebody new. I feel like you're on the precipice. Now, what is the hopes and fears? Thank you so much for it, guys, going angels. What is this energy? Solar plexus chakra, material harvest, six of pentacles. Okay. So first of all, we have the solar plexus chakra, and that is about um, what you can do about this situation. It is a, this particular chakra is about I can. Okay. So you're wondering what it is that you can do. You've done a lot of soul work, but how else can you do it? Love ain't gonna find you sitting on the sofa watching your TV, eating some popcorn, okay? Uh, so you may be wondering what it is that you can do to come out of your comfort zone, especially when it comes to a pandemic, uh, what it is. And I don't feel like you wanna do anything like, I feel like you want 
things to be natural. And I feel like they will. There will be a natural occurrence happening here. Uh, but I feel like you're unblocking um, that energy. Um, I also have got you as the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a solitary energy. Right now, you're just thinking about enjoying your employment, um, you know, building financial gain, uh, enjoying your money as much as you can or saving for a rainy day. It's often about building upon what you have in order to plan for the future. There's two houses there. So it's almost like you're getting yourself ready to be offering a lot to the table and being solid and secure in yourself before you meet somebody new. The fear here is you work a lot, Virgo. There may even be some workaholism here. So, you know, there may be, uh, sometimes you don't leave time to find work, just to let you know that. We also have the Six of Pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity. So whilst you are hoping for um, the universe to be generous and give you an opportunity financially, you may also be worried that when you're calling in love that you may find someone who is selfish again, okay? Uh, as you can see, there's two um, fountains there. Water indicates emotion, love, hopes and dreams. So I feel like there's two, you're hoping that the only thing that stands between you on that balcony that's standing alone and the sun there, which is your happiness, is finding someone who is emotionally caring and as, as emotionally caring as you in that reciprocal energy. But you will find someone with balance and harmony, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? What is the outcome here? What is the solution? Sorry, they just asked me to go again. Oh my gosh, and again? What is this? No. Okay, uh, so so strange. They just, um, they just indicated to me, I don't know if you just heard me, I said no, okay? Um, so they just said that someone has just said no, and it's almost like I challenged, channeled that person saying no. So if you were listening to this reading and someone's asked you a question, you went no, or someone's just called you and you looked at the dialer um, and you were like, no. I don't want it. If you said no out loud, or then there's something in this message for you, okay? They want you to be mindful of that. Okay. So they're kind of giving me the same energy. I just want to clarify for you, okay? I'm going to give it to you in the order it came out. We have the throat chakra, okay? Someone's coming to talk, Virgo. This is a person from the past. This is someone that you feel like you're guarded against that you needed a conversation to maybe even close things down. We have deception and envy, okay? This person maybe wore a mask. This is a seven of swords again. This is a person who either ran away or you froze them out or they froze you out because um, there was someone who was either denying their feelings or was deceptive in some way, okay? Um, you're gonna have a conversation with this person. Um, this person left you suffering in silence with a lot of anxiety. I'm not sure why you'd wanna go back with that. I don't feel like you do. But they're just indicating almost like the journey, uh, you know, as you can see, you're feeling pretty alone there. Uh, this is a solution outcome card. Uh, and you see that there are some obstacles to overcome before you hit that happiness, that sun in the background. It requires patience. Now, we all have free will, Virgo. If you want to go back to the person in the past, you absolutely can heal it. But you need to have a conversation about the deception or uh, whatever was going on there that left you suffering. There has to be a conversation. You cannot just sweep it all under the carpet. I feel like you know that now. Perhaps at the time, it was difficult to express, but um, I feel like you're, you're gonna have a conversation as to why this person was pushing you away. It can be healed. I'm gonna check to see what energy they're showing up in, whether they are in a deceptive mode still, whether you can trust them, uh, but then we got the temperance card, more major arcana, we've got patience. So there'll be a, a short period of time that you have to wait from when you talk to the person in the past to a new person coming on in. Because then we got prosperity begins, ace of pentacles, someone coming on in, in union uh, with you that leads to something solid, something that goes for the long term. Um, two hands coming together to build something beautiful that will uh, last the test of time. It's a very healthy relationship coming on in for you. And we have number two, the two of cups, spiritual union. We have soulmate. Okay, so definitely soulmate energy coming on in here. I do think that you're going to close down what happens in the past and embrace something new. I just feel that energy. The cards are also telling me that. So if you do want to reunite with someone in the past, of course you can. We all have free will. But there's a meeting of minds here. 
a perfect person who is perfect for you is coming on in. They want what you want. They want to settle down. They want truth. They want a perfect union. I mean, there's no such thing as a perfect union, uh, but they want to reach for something with you. They want to grow something. And I feel like uh, it's coming on in very soon, in fact. But I feel like the conversation between you and the person in the past happens first, okay? They just said baby steps, baby steps. So either you have a child and they've just taken some baby steps or uh, a niece or a nephew. But I feel like the overall energy is just take this slow. Divine timing is in order. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? Uh, they haven't given me where you're going to meet this person or a date or anything like that. Nature. <laughs> Nature. So this is going to unfold naturally. Okay. Um, also, maybe you're going to meet this person out in nature if you've planned some sort of vacation uh, because you started with the universe, the world card. So you could be thinking about emigrating, traveling. Um, if you're on some sort of walker's retreat or some sort of, you may be joining some sort of group to do that because they're, now they're showing me like a trekking shoe, but only one. So perhaps you've booked yourself on something like that for the future to have something to look forward to. Maybe that's where you meet this new person. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Sorry, they asked me to go again, so I am going to. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? Truly grateful for the messages so far. And they just keep going. Okay, thank you so much. We have divine timing. Of course we do. Divine timing. And we have transition, okay? Transition means you're, you're letting something go. You're moving out of some, some sort of shadow energy into the light, okay? So definitely, um, as you can see that figure there, she's waiting by the pillar. Now again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy, um, but she's waiting. There's gonna be someone joining her there, okay? Just to let you know, there's going to be new. Um, now, I'm just gonna get you a wisdom of the oracle. Thank you so much for it, guys, Grant Angels. If you're a writer, there's some sort of event that was postponed that you were meant to attend. Uh, either you're going to be attending it very shortly or it's, it's rescheduled for shortly. I feel like you're going to meet that. You're going to meet somebody there because they're showing me someone as a writer. Okay, we have poised. Now, when you got the, the card of being poised, it's to be ready. Okay, you've built your solid pillar. Can you see it? You're standing on it. Second time, we got another very strong pillar there. It's number 48. When you reduce it, 4 plus 8 is 12. So that's the hangman. You've been waiting around, but during that time, it's time to get, uh, you know, surrender to the universe and manifest something new. Um, as you can see, the stars are aligning as well for this moment. I'm going to read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Um, but yes, you can heal with the, the relationship with the person in the past, but there has to be a conversation about dishonesty i will pull a card on it actually let's read poise first and then i'll quickly pull a card on their uh energy because i forgot to do it and it just reminded me uh they're just saying larry to me larry uh larry i mean maybe that's your name or it's a nickname larry uh please take it as it resonates could be someone in spirit called larry um relationship message it's almost like Larry the cat or something. Something because I feel like it may be even a, a the name of an animal, but the, I'm just being I'm just being shown a cat right now. So I don't know what that is, but anyway, uh, maybe it's your pet. Uh, when you're confident and happy in your own skin, you are ready for deeper and more intimate relationships. You have nothing to prove right now. You are completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in very soon. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be, okay? So as I said right at the beginning, there's something about your confidence, being happy in your own skin, that sort of thing. Um, that's very important to your transition to calling in the new love, okay? I'm just gonna, oh, no, 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 they said no. Sorry, I wish you could hear what I hear. I'll go to get it and they're like, no, no, no. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Okay, uh, okay. So let us see what this person from the past 
let's see what energy they're coming on in. What's their person in the past? What's their intention? They want to talk, but what's their intention? What's their true intention towards Virgo? Can you please guide me for their highest good? What are they meant to see? This person from the past, what is their intention for wanting to talk to Virgo? Can you please guide me for the greater good? Oh, gosh. Okay, one moment. I just go get that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, this is interesting. Okay, so we got the death card. Endings bringing new beginnings. They want to end a time of feeling stuck. They want to move forward in their life. They're feeling a bit hopeless without you. Um, King of Cups energy, Scorpio energy. That's double Scorpio right there. So maybe you were dealing with a Scorpio in the past or someone with a Scorpio placement. This person really has emotionally come forward as someone who's a bit more peaceful, uh, someone who wants to be a peacemaker. They want to offer you love. They do generally want to heal this. Um, we got the five of uh, pentacles here. This person either abandoned the connection or feels a little bit left out in the cold by you now if you've frozen them out completely, but they're feeling pretty sorry for themselves. Um, we got a six of swords. This person wants to, um, they've gained greater thinking and greater wisdom and they want to move on. Uh, I feel like they want to rebirth this connection with you because they feel, they feel like you're the one. We got the lover's card. But what's interesting is um, you may have one point thought that they were the one or your soulmate. But what's really interesting here with the lover's card is it used to be called the choice. So right at the beginning, you know, I still feel, Virgo, you have a choice. Their intentions seem to be pure, but there needs to be a conversation as to why they were deceptive or what went on there. And um, pay close attention to your intuition. I'm going to leave it there. I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. By angels, can you please guide? Oh, I'm loving this. We have the seahorse. Now, when we got a seahorse, that is an indication of finding your counterpart, being in union with your other half, okay? Uh, seahorses, they make for life the long haul, okay? And they want this on the Two of Cups. So there's definitely spiritual union happening here. Whether you choose a person on in the past, or whether you choose to wait for the new person who's coming on in, that's your call, Virgo. We all have free will. I'm just here to guide. Um, but it is, uh, it's going to be for the long haul. And also we have a crown here. This is the highest love of all. Okay. This is about king and queen finding each other. Okay. So we got, uh, it's almost like a, being a bit of a power couple, you and this person. Okay. This is not going to be for everyone, uh, but they just uh, were giving me um, a sense of the English royalty, the monarchy kind of thing. So perhaps your person is from England or Britain or I don't know, same, same sort of thing. Um, the UK. Uh, please take that as it resonates. But this person is going to treat you how you've always wanted to be. Well, how you deserve to be treated, Virgo. The best of the best, okay? Uh, where would you like this? They want it on the full card. There's a leap of faith required here to come out of your comfort zone. It is your choice. Okay, Virgo, you will have a choice. I will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That's important because it lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be with a chance to win a personal reading, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your very busy day. And Virgo, I know you're busy. Okay, uh, take 10 minutes out of your day to visualize what it is that you want. Whether it, you have a, a specific goal or dream that you're trying to manifest right now, if it's the house of your dreams, for example, really see yourself putting the key in the door, opening that door for the first time, walking in there, you own this place, exploring each room, feel how it, uh, the floor feels against your feet. Imagine the smell in the house. Um, you know, see yourself taking a shower in that house, cooking a meal, you know, really see yourself at home in that dream house. I want you to see it, feel it, almost touch it, 
with your visualization because it's okay to see the images but you need to put the emotion that goes with it so that you can manifest it okay if you're trying to manifest the love of your life see what imagine what they look like imagine yourself having a conversation with that person imagine you know spooning that person imagine you know cooking a meal with that person holding their hand smelling their hair touching their earlobe whatever it is that you do okay I want you to see it feel it touch it that sort of thing um, you can pop your manifestations in the comments box below if you want to. It's a very private affair, so you do not have to. Put the word love if you do not want to share it, and I will pick one lucky subscriber from all of the comments in the boxes below. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. Love and light.